What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be checking out the shovel holders from Byers Products. They're a good way and a heavy-duty solution to hold your shovels and your trailers upright and in place. It's spring-loaded, so it's going to hold them really tight. I'm going to pull the shovel out real quick. I'm just going to let go from here, and you can hear. I mean, that's a heavy spring that goes right back into place. So, you know, when you put your shovel in there, and you're driving around and you take turns and stuff, the shovel's not going anywhere. It's not going to be able to pop out of here on its own. Obviously, these are customizable. You can put them in your trailer or however you want. We're in this enclosed trailer today. We showed you how it was mounted vertically and show you that you can mount it horizontally as well. This one's maybe up and more out of the way of the rest of your trailer. That way it's not on the ground. You have to worry about kicking it or getting in the way. Or you can just keep your wall usable for whatever you want to use it for. But it works the exact same. This one's gonna be stainless steel. The other one I showed you was a black powder coat, but they both function the exact same way. It's just up to you which one you wanna go with. It is called a shovel holder, but that doesn't mean that's all it can hold. Pretty much anything with a handle that's rounded like this will fit in there. It's got the gap itself is an inch and a quarter, and you can see that this handle is actually a little thicker than the holder, but it's still on there really tight. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to rattle free. You can also use this to organize your shovels in your garage at home, but I'm pretty sure most of you are looking for a way to keep things from moving in your trailers, like carpenters, plumbers, landscapers, making sure your tools and your equipment stay in place. This is going to be that heavy duty option that makes sure they don't move. I know I keep saying that the buyer's shovel holder is the more heavy duty option. I want to show you one from Cargo Smart. This is the tool holder that fits in the E track. It's made out of a hard polyurethane. You can see I can move it a little bit. But what you're going to want to do is slide it over the top handle of your tool and just put it in the track. Which is cool if you have the existing track, you can use that. But here's what I don't like it's not going anywhere, it's locked in. It's just, I don't like that part. And if you had multiples of these and you had more tools that you were using this for, this would only get louder. So that's why I think the buyers is the better option because you're not gonna have that rattling around or anything while you're driving. Just in case you're not planning on using it on an enclosed trailer, I want to show you an open trailer. This one happens to have wooden sides, so you could run some screws through here and then hold it along the side of the trailer. That way it's out of the way and not sliding around. The only thing that comes to be a problem is if you want to attach it vertically. It's just not going to work. Either the way you put it, you can't attach it anywhere. So I would maybe suggest getting the Packham rack. It would go more towards the front, or I guess you could put it anywhere you want along the side, but it would hold everything upright and kind of like a rack that you install on your trailer. So I showed you a couple different options you can go with depending on what trailer you have or how you want to use this. This one was better for a moving trailer like this, an enclosed trailer. If it moves around a whole bunch, nothing's going to move when it's clamped down in there. This one, however, seemed like it was better. Like if you have some E-Track already installed and you just want to use it, you don't use it that often, clip it in there. It's going to hold it just fine if you don't mind the noise. Or you could set up in your garage where it's not moving and it'll be fine. If you have an open trailer, you could, if you had the wooden sidewalls, use this one too. It's going to hold it just as nicely there. But if you don't have those, the Packham Rackham racks are probably the better way to go. Now I've shown you the silver stainless steel and the black powder coat. Now let's see how they install. It's going to be the exact same way. It's really easy. We're going to show you how we installed the black powder coat one today. And I want to show you how heavy duty it is. You can't bend the metal. Can't twist it all. Even get it to slightly bend. So just, I know since you can't get your hands on it, I might as well try to show you if I can break it. Not today. But along the back here, it measures from center to center of the holes, six and three quarters, and it's three and a half inches from the center of this one down here. So that's just how far apart the holes are gonna be when you're going to set it up on your trailer. If you look behind me here, we went ahead and put two two by fours next to each other. So it sat out from the wall that way, because if you were to put it here, the shovel would kind of be against the wall. This lifts it just a little bit. That way the shovel can sit here easily. I went ahead and ran this one in this corner just so I could keep my hands out of the way and you can have a better idea of what I'm doing. I'm just gonna run a wood screw here in the pre-drilled hole. It's a little bigger than normal, so I attached a washer to. That way it takes out that extra space. If you're going into metal, 
I would go ahead and use a self tapper. That'd be better for that instance. Just gonna run it down and see how nice and tight it is. And I'll go ahead around and add the rest. With it installed, we're ready to add our shovel. It's that easy. Easy install. I think it's a very heavy duty, reliable product. I like it. It's gonna keep this shovel from going anywhere in your trailer. Now, I did have a conversation with some of the riders the other day about this product. Check it out. Does it have a weight capacity or anything, or is it just... Not it, that we it, saw. Yeah, I don't know if there was any good way to actually measure the tension of that uh, shovel holder, but that clamp, but it is, I mean, it's, it's a pretty strong clamp. Yeah. It's going to make sure nothing comes out. And if you look at this shovel, it's... It's actually a little bit bigger for the groove in there. What was it an inch and a quarter? Yeah, inch and a quarter. This one doesn't go all the way around it, but it's still that secure. Mm. So this might be a dumb question, but uh, how heavy duty is the steel in there? Like, could I actually bend it to make it fit that shovel? I don't think so. Okay. It's pretty heavy duty. Like, just pulling it open for this first it's hard when it's not mounted to this. It takes a bit of effort just to move that. Yeah, so the plate the plate itself doesn't want to yeah. bend or anything. That can't. Seem like it wants to bend. Yeah, it's solid. Okay. Well, probably crack a walnut or something in that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just worried about <laughs> smashing my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did you just install it with wood screws? Yes. It doesn't come with hardware, so I use washers and wood screws because the holes that are pre-drilled in there are a little bit bigger than a normal screw so I had to fill it up but it's nice and sturdy yeah okay so you're saying it's so uh the clamp is so heavy duty that you could put something like say a mulch uh rake you know usually mulch rakes have a much thicker handle and it's still going to probably stay in place just because of how uh, strong that clamp is yeah, it puts so much pressure down on it. It, it just, it won't, I don't, it's not going to pop out. It's not going to have enough pressure to push that spring up. Mm -hmm. If you want to cool. see the other one we have mounted, this shovel's a little smaller, so it fits in there. You can see what it looks like when it goes around there. Oh, yeah. That one's got the black powder coat finish. Yep. So it holds it just as tight even if it's mounted. Yeah. Vertically. Okay. Nice. Looks like you can get some movement up and down. But that's all right. Yeah. I don't think you're going to hit a bump. I mean, if you hit a bump, I'd have to pop that open. You flipped your trailer or something, I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That does it for our look at the Byers product shovel holder. I hope this helped.